saga continues. Wu Tang. Wu Tang is for the children. We are making more metal, more brackets, more plates. We got more the whole front done. And we're just finishing up the shroudy, shroudy piper in here. And the back will be basically tied in. Yeah. Things got to get removed for um, paint and other things. But aside from that, I mean, he's going to weld these so this whole thing is like one piece up top. We learned that um, rivets actually save us a lot of time because every time we drill, put a nut cert in, and if the nut cert gets messed up, it's even harder to extract. Whereas when you put a rivet in, all you have to do is drill the rivet out and you put another rivet in the same hole and you don't have to worry about stripping it out or the hole being too big or anything like that. It's perfect. The only thing I don't like about rivets, it doesn't really allow you any wiggle room. It is hole to hole and that's it. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Has to be. So it was a lot of shaving. Yeah. A lot of cutting, put it on the rivet in. Oh, I don't like it. Let me shave a little bit off. But it turned out really nice. Now I like the industrial look, you know what I mean? Like the bead rolls and the rivets, it's real pretty like. Oh, this is that's rather than the improvement. Yeah, we didn't think of that. I'm trying to find a word to describe this, but the only thing that comes to mind is spaceship. Goddamn spaceship. The spaceship. That's what Joel keeps telling us, and I like it. It's like it's, it's not no basic air catching shape. No. Well, straight lines suck, you know, so we want to put some shapes and color. Yeah, make it look prettier, you know? We live by the term, just because you can doesn't mean you should. In this case, we have to. Can and we have to. Mm -hmm. Pretty stuff. So we like you guys' ideas while answering our questions about doing this in the same color as the chassis, because it doesn't really take away from it. You know, less is more sometimes. So for everyone that gave us answers to it, I like the chassis color or like a black satin look versus someone else said do two-tone make it look low rider and it's really not our style yeah it's but aggressive it is aggressive especially since the cars probably if you know us is going to be green anyways so green inside of here not not for me yeah maybe a little silver a or black yeah and you can't really like just paint the bead rolled areas it's just gonna not really work right you definitely see it i mean you're gonna see it regardless of what color you paint it yeah but I like I like the chassis color. I think it's gonna fit right in. It's gonna yeah. look good. Painted. That's it. So we're gonna finish this, and then we can move on to hoses because we got in our aluminum, tubes. aluminum tubing, so we can do our radiator hoses, and we can also, since we have our fuel cell, we can start to work on this front cap to take and open this up, so we can get our fuel cell in and out. Step in for the battery. Yep. Or make a battery out. box because we got our anti-gravity battery, which literally weighs nothing. Yeah, hey, just, you, just throw it to cricket. This is like just a, throw it. Throw I'm scared to throw it, but you know it's. <laughs> yeah, because I'm not very good at catching. Yeah. One. Yeah. See, not very good at catching. But uh, one hand. Dropping it. Well, it's like what? Eight pounds? I don't even know. It's, it's, like, it's ridiculous. Have a one hand. So you think that like <laughs> with hand. aluminum and stuff like that? <laughs> yeah, you can just palm that like a basketball. That turns on the car. Yeah, and it has a built-in jump start feature, which is also really sick. That has a remote control. So if your battery dies and you have it somewhere you can't really reach it, you can literally press the remote control button and it will jump start itself. So this is going to go underneath here. I dig it. And I the like remote it. works great because it's going to be covered. They give you well, two. We're going to have an access panel. But still, it's going to be covered. Yeah. You just. Boop, boop. I think I want to make this cap out of like plexiglass. So you can see the battery. That's the case. You want to do the same thing on the other side and match it, dude. So and then put lights. Put lights in here. So maybe like a little plexiglass. Stuff. So no lights, bro. <laughs> some lights. Maybe like a little tiny plexiglass one, so you can see the the jump button. I'm uh, telling you, plexiglass and some lights. You know. The thing is, the battery. They sell battery boxes that are made out of plastic. So plexiglass is just see-through plastic. Yeah. Exactly. So I think that's okay. But for the fuel system, yeah. that's that's I a separate concern. Yeah. yeah, I'd rather that be metal. As much as it'd be cool to just put it on display, but you know how plexiglass is. Yeah, it'll yeah. look pretty for a day, and then it gets all scratched up the first time you wipe it with a microfiber cloth. But yeah, this is just absurd. I love it. So you guys also like worked on Adam's car for a little bit? Yeah, so he has two cars. One that had to go to Ireland for Driftmasters, and his other E36 that has to go to Formula Drift on Monday. So this week has been long. Joel didn't go to bed until like 3.30 last night, maybe 4 a.m. We can, we can jump to a montage. Yeah, jump to the montage. Show the people the goods. I want to actually see the car running because I was sleeping. Well, the actual were... running part will be in Mike's video because I have to play Mike the whole night oh. uh, to be that guy. Oh, you were Mike? Yeah, it's a stole his camera. Just a little taller? Yeah. Curlier hair? Yeah, the angle was like up here instead of down here from like, you know. <laughs> you have to like shoot like this. <laughs> Sorry, Mike. 
So yeah, uh, we were working on that, building bash bars. We had to do a uh, fire suppression system in it, some cool. other monotonous stuff, change some seat brackets around because they were putting the whole car together during the week, so they didn't have time to. And so we kind of picked up the slack where they didn't have time to, you know, focus on stuff to where we could get it done and they could focus on the, the main issues of the car, like getting it running, driving, dynoing, you know, making sure all of that stuff worked. And we worried about the safety features. So now we're back on this. Tell it's going pretty, pretty fast. It's going really nice. I'm very happy with it. Swimmingly. Hello. Oh, there we got Lawrence. What you got there? Computer stuff. Link you see you. Wow. Whoa. Yeah, look, look at the back of Chris's hat. Bam. 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 Oh, sick hat. Do I get one? You get nothing. You do get one. No, oh, I got a shirt. I got a shirt and sweater. Oh, you didn't get a hat? No. I got, hat. A, I got a beanie. Cool. And a shirt and a sweater. That's what happens when you're a medium. Everything fits you. Kaiser, like the Jeep back in the 70s. You know, Jeep was owned by multiple different companies besides Daimler Chrysler. First was Willys, then was bought out by Kaiser, and then Chrysler and Jeep. Cool, huh? Random facts of cricket. Yeah. Because I had a Willys Jeep in high school, and my buddy had a Kaiser. Kaiser Sose. Cricket's <laughs> at least 80 years old. Almost. Yeah, we're getting there. We're getting up there. Oh, look at how clean that is. That's just glorious, Joel. Like I guess that's spaceship. Spaceship. Really cool spaceship. Hey, Chris, will you come draw a line for me? Just so I can clean up this line. Sure. Yes, please. Ocean in the ocean. Okay. Oh, no way. Yeah, but thank you. Zeus clips. So we um, haven't really used these on any builds previously, but Duarte had a set. I kind of wanted to play with them a little bit to see how it all played out. So this is actually going to be our piece for our battery cover, so we can visually see the battery. Gonna have a little voltage readout and stuff on there as well. So I trim this down, kind of using these as a template to figure out the size we needed for the inside as well as the outside. And then we just have to figure out the depth of these anchor bolts because these little coily boys apparently come in like three or four different heights where this will lock into the different heights. So we're gonna try and make this work without messing anything up and scratching up this flex stand, but odds are we'll probably have to make another one of these at some point. It's worth a shot just to see if it works. We're gonna put that other clip. Anyways. At least I put them all on the right side. It's a good start. And you know, rivets to follow suit with everything else that we've riveted thus far in this car. I'll tell you what, it's gonna look really cool. Thinking about putting some like little sandblasty thing on there to say that this is the battery. Not that anybody needs to know that, but you know, why not? So that will get bolted on there. The underneath will get cut out leaving just enough room for our clippies to do the thing that they're supposed to do. Just clip. Where do you mount the, the so coily boys? These two holes that are marked out on these will mount the coily boys. But thinking about it, I'm not sure if the bottom of this rivet is gonna interfere with the head of that rivet, although this does have a good bit of press in. So, don't know till we try. 
We also want to put some foam or something around the edge of this to make sure it is 100% sealed. All right, so we have our caps that are going to go for our radiator lines that go through and dive down so they actually don't go into the cabin. And then this is going to be for our fuel fill neck to go up to the back section of the window. We have all of the radiator shrouding done if you want to peek back there, Joel. It's really nice, like. Yeah, did we have to do it in 3D? No, but it looks way cooler than we did. So, and we wanted to keep, you know, kind of the same thing going, you know, all the way into the back. So we kept this little design here, it goes all the way up the back seat and then all the way back down. So it has this cool little wraparound feature that I like. And then Chris made a cool cap mm -hmm. for this, for our battery. So it'll be clear, you'll be able to see it. It's gonna look really cool. Uh, but he has to change, we're trying Zeus clips for once. I don't like them personally. I think they're a pain in the butt to, to do all of the work for, just to, you know, you could have nuts of it. But we're gonna try them out, see if we like them. Chris, do you like them so far? Nope. Nope, not so much. But they got this kit for us like three years ago and it was like $200 and we never used them. So we're gonna try and use them this time. Wish us luck. If you have any cheat codes, make sure to tell us. Because we'll try it, maybe next time. The depth is the only thing messing with us right now. Yeah. Everything else lines up good. It's just, we gotta change out these nuts for longer ones. And then when I put foam padding in it. It's not deep enough, it right? Up, it's not gonna. Is that going deep enough? Yeah, they're just not grabbing enough. Yeah. They're grabbing, they're just not. So you, they have different size depth? Yeah. Everything between here and here. Oh, wow. So we okay. have four different sizes in between there. Right now we're on this one. Oh, So I'm okay. just gonna go up one side. Here's your drill. To drill it in Manila. Yeah, I need to find room. Show them the top. Show them the cap real quick. You should. Just, oh, oh, did he? I want to see it on there. Yeah. I yeah, I do too. I just need um, <laughs> to drill these rivets out, but I need to um, tape this off and do the thing with it anyways. So, while I have these off, I'm going to do that. What What did you come up with? What did you put on there? What's that? What are those gold stickers? It's a battery. Oh, that's it? What did you want? Something cooler, I don't know, like a cricket and a magic hat for Magic Man. Something cool with our name on it, that, like stamps our name on this. Something, I don't know, something. Not battery, everyone knows the battery, but you can tell it's a battery by the way it is. Tell that to the people doing tech inspection. They can't look through that clear thing and see that that's a battery. We got problems. I need to make sure I cut my hole big enough to fit my two radiator tubes through there. And then same thing here, but I want to make sure I have enough room still to put plates on this on the inside of this so I can take and put it to that plate. So we're going to weld it to this one and make this all one plate and then that side is going to be riveted to the actual firewall. So this will all be welded together and then just riveted to the back. So it'll be removable from itself, which means we'll be able to take it all apart if we ever need to, God forbid. Hopefully we won't. I mean, right now we're going to because I have to build a box underneath this to house the battery and then also provide a tie down inside of that box. So that's going to be fun. I'll probably just build a box inside of that box and weld it up to it. And then the battery will just plop right into place. Real nice, neat like. But we're going to find out here shortly. I might have to cut some of the seat out as well. We haven't put the battery in there yet. At least I haven't, so I don't know. We're going to find out. It's going to be fun. We're going to learn together. It's always more fun that way, you know?
Are you ready for a close up? Yo, that's the end game. Somewhere where there's something sketchy in the car, so he like spots <laughs> it, and then he sees the Dr. Pepper, and he's like.